Hey everyone, welcome to another vlog of mine. So, I saw Ali Frankenstein today, and to tell you the truth, it wasn't that bad. I'm not saying it was the best movie of all time, and I'm not saying it's the worst movie of all time, but, um, the one thing I, I kind of, there's two things that were kind of annoying me. One, that they had in 3D, because to tell you the truth, there was no 3D effect in my mind, or at least I didn't see any. Maybe it was just the way where I was sitting, I don't know. But it just didn't seem like there was much point in it. And second, which was kind of pointed out to me before I saw the movie, which was um, the way the demons, uh, after the demons got killed, how they exploded and there was fire and stuff. I thought that was kind of, uh, that could have been done in a different way, to tell you the truth. But... Hey, maybe there's a whole bunch of other people that thought it was pretty cool, so... I don't know. Uh, from now until the end of this vlog, um, will be kind of a spoilerish uh, for this movie, so if you want to see this movie, stop the video right now so you don't uh, ruin the movie for, uh, experience for yourself. If... Um, you don't care or you're not planning on seeing it then this won't matter for you at least so I'll give you five seconds to um, turn this video uh, video off go see it then you can come back and where you watch this video so five four three two one zero okay so uh, Frankenstein, uh, Dr. Frankenstein creates his monster, and, uh, he promises him that he would make a wife for him, he doesn't, so the monster kills his, uh, Dr. Dr. Frankenstein's wife, named Elizabeth, uh, Dr. Frankenstein goes after him and try, uh, goes to kill him, but he ends up killing himself by being pretty much frozen because of the really cold weather that he was tracking uh, the monster from. Then when um, Frankenstein tried, to, uh, the monster tried to bury Dr. Frankenstein, um, he... Uh, these demons came and tried to uh, take the monster away but these gargoyles who are the good guys come and save his life and take the book of Dr. Frankenstein and um, so uh, pretty much they give uh, the queen, or I guess the the leader of the gargoyles. Um, she gives the monster a name, Adam. I'm, I'm assuming because of the whole Adam and Eve type thing, but I don't know. Anyways, um, and he doesn't want to stay under their protection. Uh, so they all they do. So what they do is they give him some weapons that that can actually defeat the demons if they come after him and so he leaves and then pretty much come present day he decides to start hunting them since they're hunting him and um, things uh, pretty much pick up from there where uh, Von Strahoff's character uh, comes in because she is trying to recreate what Dr. Frankenstein did 200 years ago, because now this is present day, and so um, uh, her and another doctor or scientist are trying to figure it out, unknowns to them, they're working for the bad guys even though they don't know it, and Eventually, uh, Adam and Von Schoenhossi's character meet. Uh, he figure he finally reads the book over after 200 years. 
and figures out what's going on and decides to help save Avantrovsky's character and uh, by doing that he ends up uh, getting her into the trouble that he's in uh, so pretty much in and uh, the bad guys what they want to do is they want to uh, they've collected a whole bunch of bodies so what they want to do is they want to um, re uh, reanimate all oh, like hundreds of of people uh, and put and since they don't have any soul then they can bring the demon soul and put them into the body because supposedly that's the only way it works so Adam tries to uh, stop that from happening and in the end uh, well you could kind of figure that out yourself and uh, he changes his name from Adam to Frankenstein so that's pretty much just the gist of it so overall, I would say go see it. Uh, I would say it's a great movie. Um, am I gonna go get it on uh, DVD and Blu-ray? Most likely. Will I get it right away? I don't know. Uh, probably, but uh, we'll just have to see when it comes out. So overall, great acting. I would say the storyline is great. I even like the beginning because. Uh, for me and for people that don't know the Frankenstein story that much, uh, it was kind of refreshing to see. So I, I liked it and the storyline that had to come afterwards. For the rest of the movie, uh, I thought it was really good. Uh, I liked the actors that they had in it, um, the acting in it that the actors did was really good. So. Overall, I would say it's a pretty good movie. Uh, like I said, do I suggest seeing this? Hell yes. But I might be a little bit biased because of Monster Hoskins in it. If you don't know who she is, she was in uh, last thing she was in was uh, Dexter season 7 and 8, the final two seasons. And also, she was in all five seasons of Chuck. So. And if you do and don't know, she's going to be in the miniseries of the 24 uh, TV show that's coming back for one season. So, anyways, uh, whenever you watch this, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. And hopefully there are no gargoyles or demons coming after you. Bye.